Sam has had 11 inches the side of her. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to start the episode. Let's go. <laughs> I'll come back. This is a, a I mean, Samus on Ridley fanfiction. I'm enjoying this uh, this new format that we're doing of re- reading <laughs> reading fan crap fiction online. Fan whilst, fiction. Oops, I didn't mean to fall. Even the best must fall. Chapter one. Okay, yeah, I just I just fell. Wow. Dang it. Now hmm. I wanted to get that middle or missile expansion up there, but I fell off. And now I. It's a long way around. Yeah, I'd have to go all the way back. Ah. And I don't think I can reach. If only you had eleven there. more inches. Indeed. It's very pretty, pretty close, actually. Yeah. Uh, I can get a key now as well. Here. So please continue with the rule for thirty-four over this boring gameplay that I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, nothing can compare to this oh. fantastic fan fiction. Oh, is there more chapters? I want to know what who Baron is. Indeed. Chapter two. <laughs> who has time to write this? You, sir, read. are a master artisan. Crafting your craft. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for idle chat, sternness writhed in her voice. How the hell did you do it? How did I come to your whimsy? <laughs> your whimsy? Ah, so you do have a resilient mind. <laughs> oh, or, oh. With, uh, Milkovich. Oh, so you do have a resilient mind. I was not sure how glad my gaze, how long my gaze would capture you. But, Miss Erin, I would suppose an explanation is on order. Please take a seat. eyes were f- still fixated outside the window. Miss Erin, I told you I'm a collector. You are now part of my collection. To be my number one is a privilege. To serve me, I am an honor. He turned around, his grin bigger than usual. Samus Erin, my play toy, my personal sex slave. You have come to me through, well, let's just say unusual circumstances. But believe me when I say you will enjoy your stay here. Don't worry, I don't expect an immediate change, but I will con- but I- you will come around. <clears throat> That's yeah, what you around, think! Come around, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Nothing saucy happens in this chapter. Well, then what's the point? There's only two chapters, oh, and the no. second chapter is not even half as long. <clears throat> Let's <laughs> ever... <laughs> not half as long. I'm gonna skip chapter one of this one. Oh, I get you. <laughs> <laughs> even the best must fall. <clears throat> wow. I'm actually talking so much in this one. Yeah, <laughs> doing I mean, voices. Just reading all the, the fanfic. Yeah, then my voice is starting to go back. Whoa! <laughs> oh, I like in this one. Okay, chapter two, the silver lining. Samus tried to go to sleep. She wasn't able to though. She couldn't stop thinking about what Ridley had planned for her. Oh, Ridley my. captured her in chapter one. Oh, okay. <clears throat> a package was slid through the hole in the cell meant oh. for food. <laughs> it had a letter. The letter read, "What should Ridley's voice be?" Um. <clears throat> hey, can you do a Mexican accent? <laughs> You dropped this last time you defended me. I can't do it. <laughs> I don't think I can do it very well. Uh-huh. I can try. Go for it. You dropped me. The, you dropped this last time you defeated me. I can't. ASA, you dropped this last time you defeated me. But you see where it was coming when I got you. I can't do it. <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to Malcolm's. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's gotta be something different. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else can you do? Uh. Uh. I could do Yoda. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> you dropped this last time you defeated me. 
I expect to see you wearing it when I come to get you. It was from Ridley. It was Samus's silver zero suit bikini. Samus was more than glad to put it on, for it had warmers that only activated on her skin. It was made to replicate the sun, of, the sun on a beach. She'd carried it in her ship and put it on when she successfully completed a mission. Okay, then. Saucy. <laughs> Ridley obviously had plans for her, for he included a giant dildo. And <laughs> another note. Uh, oh, oh, yes, Samus. If I were you, I would start practicing with that, or your torture could be very painful. Oh, my. <laughs> Samus didn't know what to do. She could use it and make this a lot less painful, or she could keep her dignity and not use it. She did have a choice. The dildo was robotic. It lunged at her face and clamped onto her head. <laughs> the dildo <laughs> went into her mouth and started to expand. Oh my. She felt something warm squirt out of it. She tried to scream and get it off, but to no avail. The dildo was coming in her mouth, and she couldn't stop it. The dildo detached from her after about a half hour. <laughs> then it went wow. to sit and lunged at her ass. It pulled, her, <laughs> it pulled down her pants and injected itself into her pajudal. It expanded to a massive size. The head of it continued to expand after the body stopped. Samus was mortified as it grew a second dildo and did the same thing to her anus. <laughs> <laughs> the dildo started how, to come... How, how did they spell anus? A-N-I-S. Excellent. <laughs> the dildo started to come deeply in her. She screamed come, at how that. How do you come deeply? Just like... Come the... deep into her? Yeah, sure. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> I read that wrong. Come deep okay. into her. She screamed at that, and at the pain, about a half hour later, it ran out of cum. <laughs> it shrunk to the size of a really large butt plug. <laughs> and no, no matter how hard Sam was pulled on it, it couldn't come out. She was now warm due to the suit and the cum inside her, but she felt disturbed and now even more exposed. This is true fanfic right here. Yeah. I wonder how Samus would actually feel about fanfiction. <laughs> That's a good question. If she just like saw it. Yeah. What she would think. Indeed. <laughs> oh. Hmm. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I bet other M her would be like offended. <laughs> Triggered. Yeah. Exactly. No, I don't know. She's not really an SGW or anything. In other M, she's just dumb. <laughs> so maybe she'd the like The two it. aren't mutually exclusive, of course. In fact, they uh, often do go together. <laughs> True. Yeah. Maybe she would like it then. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think she would. I don't think she'd be. Find it funny, maybe. It. <laughs> I think she'd be maybe a bit weirded out by it. Maybe she would. Yeah. I think it's creepy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess she might get angry, since it's making light of, like, Ridley and stuff. Yeah. And she probably hates him. Indeed. So what else you got? More, more of this Ridley This goes garbage. on for, like, forever. Really? Of just, like, her with the robotic dildo? <laughs> well, no, just the different things that Ridley does. Oh, okay. What in the world? Oh, I think I missed something. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um. Got the ice thing. <laughs> spreader. Ooh, mm. this should be a, a nice uh, Ooh. thing uh, to have in a fanfiction. <laughs> nice spreader. You are lucky, but I came in when I did, Ridley said. <clears throat> for if I had left you for another five to six hours, my cum would have made you pregnant. What? You would have produced a crossbreed, but now there isn't enough cum left in you for that to happen. <clears throat> what do you want from me? Samus asked. Samus asked. <clears throat> Samus asked. I want revenge. The Queen Space Pirate wants the location of all. Uh, my iPad locked. Or my tablet locked. 
Oh, <laughs> Where was I? <clears throat> Queen's Bay explained the location of all the Federation strongholds. <laughs> you bitch! I won't betray my friends! <laughs> oh, man. The pirates will become the dominant race. Mm -hmm. Dominant race. He then <coughs> took out a four prong device. Ooh. Sounds kinky. <laughs> oh my. Maybe this is better if I don't find the context and just read it. Uh huh. Um, she knew that she needed to try to get the egg out of her. Oh dear. She took a few deep breaths and then pushed with all of her might. Oh dear. The egg only peeked out of her vagina, then went back in. Oh dear. She took a few more deep breaths and then pushed again. Oh. The egg came. The egg came out about one fourth the way, but still went back in. Oh. She told herself, "One more try. You have to do this." She took a final <laughs> breath and pushed with every ounce of her strength. The big part of the egg slid out, and then the rest did. It landed on the floor and broke in half. She breathed a sigh of relief, then tried to sleep, which she found next to impossible with her being tied to the hooks, at least three feet off the ground. It was then that she realized that Ridley was right. The torture was only had just begun. So, did did the no no baby hatch or anything from the egg? No, that was a practice egg oh, okay. that he put inside of her with his hand. <laughs> But it was apparently the same size as a quote-unquote dragon egg. Uh-huh. A Ridley Babby egg? Exactly. I should look up, uh... Some Fire Emblem fanfiction? Since your uh, phone's going off sure. like crazy. I was gonna do, look up funny Metroid Oh, okay. That, w that wasn't funny enough for you? I just want to see if there's a difference between... <clears throat> uh, M rated and funny. Oh, okay. <laughs> Metroid Other M Chapter 1. A really stupid name. <laughs> yep. Samus felt another shock go through her body. Hey, what was that for? She yelled indignantly. I have no... I have no idea, the officer deadpanned. Are you ready to cooperate now? The bounty hunter sighed in defeat. Oh, yeah, sure. bollocks. One tutorial later. <laughs> <laughs> well, time to get to the meeting room, I guess, Samus thought. Walking through the corridor. What the devil is this? This is not the funniest one I've ever read. I know, right? Th those Bill 34 ones, or uh, sexy ones, were way funnier. Indeed. This is the funniest Metroid fanfic ever. Game Facts says. You can trust everything Game Facts says, because they're. Samus big. and Ridley sitting in a tree. <laughs> Yes, this is, if this is wrong, they're not funny, I'm gonna, <clears throat> I'm gonna be never using game facts again. You hear me, game facts? Because everyone hasn't already stopped. Yeah, right. Hmm. <laughs> what the devil is this? Once upon a time in Zeebs. Samus was sitting in a tree, contemplating the clouds as they floated by. Oh, this is uh, Samus and Ridley sitting in a tree by Eyes Five. Yeah. Okay. With her legs dra draped over a branch and kicking idly, she made for a pretty easily detected target. 
even from the ground. Within a few minutes, Ridley spotted the bounty hunter and flew up towards her. Savage! Ridley flapped his wings madly, scattering leaves and landing on a nearby branch. The huntress turned her attention to her mortal enemy. Yeah? You want a chili dog? Sure. Yeah. Samus accepted the dog and took a big bite without really looking at what she was consuming. A big blob of relish and ketchup oozed from the other end and dropped out of the tree. She chewed twice with a strange expression on her face. Is this chorizo sausage? <laughs> I, I think so, Ridley said, chewing on his chili dog. He swallowed hard. Oh crap, I forgot. You're half chorizo, aren't you? Chozo, she corrected, taking another bite. Is there a difference? Not sure, Sam. Samus said, chewing thoughtfully. Not sure if the Chozo are descendants of the warmongering Chorizo, or vice versa, or if the Chorizo are just violent Chozo locked in stone. She took a swing of the is diet, it, swig of the diet Pepsi. Isn't Chorizo like some Mexican dish? <laughs> Maybe. I think it is also a, a Metroid thing, though. Is it? Maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's just a Mexican dish. <laughs> She took a swig of the Diet Pepsi Ridley also brought along. Or maybe the Chorizo are just the name of the Guardian Chozo statues. Don't even get me started on the Torizo fit into all of this. From what I heard, Chozo, Chorizo, and Torizo are all the same thing. The difference is in how the records were translated into different languages. Differences in translation? That's plausible. Do you know what the Japanese call me? Huh? Samusu, as in Samusu. The Europeans call me Sam us air in, and half the population of Newgrounds call me Samus Aran. She she sighed and looked and shook her head in long time suffering. It's almost as if as bad as the whole Zebes Zebeth discourse. They finish off their chorizos. It, <laughs> it sounds like it is a, a Mexican thing as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. uh, in com companionable silence, save for the sounds of chewing and slurping, Samus mm -hmm. licked her fingers. Her remaining sauce and suddenly turned to face the dragon. Ridley, she cried, I love you. Let's run away together to a forgotten planet and have gratuitous passionate sex. <laughs> Ridley slurped his Dr. Pepper noisily through a straw, which looked rather funny considering his huge head. <laughs> <laughs> then he crushed the cup and ate it. I don't know about that. I did kill your parents after all. And despite reluctantly examining our feelings for each other and resulting in the mutual respect with a blossom out of our mutual hatred, I am not human. <clears throat> You're not? Even after intensive reconstruction? I don't think so. Anyways, aren't you in love with Adam? Oh yeah, forgot about that. But he's a computer now. <laughs> well, if I become a human, so can he. And how about that captain you once met? His name started with an N or something? Ridley belched. Oh, excuse me. It's not as if your romantic opportunities are limited. You can always run away with one of the thousands of male humans willing to sleep with you. I think most of them are fan fiction writers. Didn't one of them impregnate you once? <laughs> Samus looked at him blankly. Actually, I'm a lesbian. Oh, my <laughs> mistake. Not that I've ever had sex before, she added. How about the time with the Metroid? You know, back in 1986 when they still had tentacles? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Ridley, you should know better than that. I despise Metroids. They are a parasitic plague on the galaxy. I killed them all in SR-388, remember? Of course I remember. I also remember stealing the last Metroid hatchling on Ceres while you chased all the way back to the to retrieve. Oh my god, I love that thing. Samus scrunched up her arms against her chest and her eyes evoked the stereotype of an anime. Her voice took on a slightly higher pitch. It's so cute! <laughs> it would follow me and make the squeakiest squeaking sound like squee! <laughs> and then it spoke to me in a telepathic voice and I ex Exposed it to beta rays, so they have two of them, and then one at some X, and evolved it continuously until it turned into an Omega Metroid or a Queen. But the other got exposed to Phase and actually grew into a Metroid Prime, or got devoured by the being with his Metroid. But then he took it to me in a clone and became a very big and almost killed me, but recognized me as his mother just in time. Even he gave me the energy to siphon from Mother Brain, but it was killed by the Federation, and also had the opportunity to clone it and inject its DNA to my bloodstream. So in essence, it saved my life twice, and it did mention I love it. It substitutes for a real baby, so I can realize the latent mother see instincts I've never had a chance to express or experience. And it's like to the grasp onto me with its cute little fangs, so I just let it. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. I get it. Drink your that, Pepsi. That is the best, d like, <laughs> destruction of other M's story <laughs> that I've ever heard. 
Oh, this is quite enjoyable. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is quite excellent fan fiction. Mm-hmm. And he seems to have good views, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, she did so, her cheeks in- inverting as she tries to suck out the last bits of liquid, shaking the container to confirm that there's only one ice inside. She tosses it into the air and really incinerates it with a short jet of flame. Then the dragon yawned hugely, wisps of smoke escaping from his throat. So, tell me more about that Metroid DNA in your blood. I don't think I've ever heard much about it. I was a hideous ex infested zombie at the time. <laughs> Samus shrugged. What's there to tell? The Metroid cells killed the ex I was infected with, assimilated into my system, fused with my suit, made me weak to the cold, and now I'm capable of absorbing X for energy as Metroids do. That's awfully convenient. Aren't there any side effects? Well, I would develop an insatiable need to feast on the energy of living things if I don't do so for too long, and then I would eventually evolve into a progressively higher-ranking human Metroid abominations until I become the next Metroid Queen, producing hundreds of Metroid eggs for the rest of my miserable life. Oh, that hasn't happened yet, has it? Not yet. I see. The sunset of Zeebs was pretty. The two denizens of the tree watched the blood-red sun nearing the horizon as green-tinted clouds draped or dropped their poison rain, eroding the very tree on which they perched. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting late, Samus observed. Shouldn't you be going home to your mom? Mother Brain? She's not my mom. She's not even a space pirate. You chose to made her. He paused. Or not. Hmm. I should really ask her about this. <laughs> what the hell are you space pirates anyway? You and Kray don't even look anything like normal pirates. Really smiled the terrible dragon grin. Let's just say that I'm special. Of course you are. That's why I can do crap like... She abruptly turned and fired a super missile into Ridley's neck. The dragon's head <laughs> recoiled, his jaw hinging as if he was surprised. The tongue lolling out, the eyes rolling up. His, fe- his head fell to the ground below and his limp body followed. A second after... Both landed with an audible splat. Two minutes later, Samus spotted Ridley winging in from the east, eventually settling <laughs> down beside her. Uh. You were saying? I was saying that while I can do crap like killing, like killing you without. Oh, three verse. You were saying? I was saying that's why I can do crap like killing you without worrying about you never coming back. You're almost as famous as me, you know. She smiled at him. Popularity earns you immortality. Ridley seemed to almost pout. I'm not a... Im- I'm not immortal. I just get clawed a lot of times. You mean <laughs> reconstructed from the corpse? I mean I'm an individual from a race collectively known as Ridley with whom I share a collective consciousness. Oh, <laughs> that explains it. Does it? I don't know. <laughs> hey, I just realized something. What? There are no trees on Zeebs. Suddenly, Samus fell three, 30 feet to the ground. <laughs> she landed easily on her feet and dusted herself off as Ridley showed his momentum, slowed his momentum with his wings. Damn it, Ridley, she said as if this was his fault. Oh, crap. I remembered something else. You blew up, Zeebs. It doesn't even exist anymore. Well, dang. So Samus boarded her ship, flew away from the void where Zeebs used to be, and made her way to Aether with Ridley leading the way. He landed and was surprised to see that Samus was already there waiting for him. Samus? Actually, I'm not Samus. And the black blue phase on imbued creature dissolved into a million sparkling particles to be reformed into the depths of space. Are you Samus? Ridley asked, turning toward the figure in the orange and yellow power suit. Nope, nice try. You have to look into my eyes to tell a difference. Oh, I see. Ridley leaned closer for a better view. No pupils. The figure pixelated and mutilated into a blue gelatinous form before hovering away. How about you? Ridley pointed toward a human in an identical power suit. You must be Samus. Actually, I'm Samus's daughter or granddaughter who inherited her chosen blood in the suit when she died. She frowned up at the sky where Samus's ship was coming into view. But she's not dead yet. They say that the chosen blood makes her life live for centuries. So I guess I'm not needed here. She walked away. Here I am, <laughs> Samus said, emerging from the ship. Hey, it's about time. Let's go find a tree. Should I finish this next time? Yeah, sure. Okay. Next time, go to Goopers. We're gonna finish this excellent story. Go for later. Go for later.